I've had a question about the Intel um, NUC, the N 282 version, and its ability to play 10-bit X264 encoded files. X264 is a specialized uh, encoder. Lots of enhancements in it, and one of those enhancements is a 10-bit mode, which is not compatible with any hardware-based H.264 decoder. So every time you're going to play a what's known as a high 10p file, it's going to be done in software. Now the question is, will this N282 um, box, it's a Bay Trail M N2820, play a high 10 file, high 10p file? So I've got a demo file here. Let's just uh, fire this up. It's an anim file, and this is really what uh, it's used for. It is used for this sort of um, yeah, color change, sharp color edges, where big um, scene changes um, or large amounts of change between frames need to have a lot of data involved um, to keep it smooth. Right, well, anime fans will know exactly what I'm talking about. He reaches over for the remote to get a display of what's going on here. Now let's just uh, mute that as well. Where's my little mute button? Mm -hmm. Right. As you can see up here, DTS audio file running at 1.5 megabits a second. So that in itself is pretty uh, pretty big. Now the video, A264 High 10, tells us it's a 10 bit, full HD. And then if you look under here, you can see the average per measurement, megabits per second is going through here. It ranges, uh, I mean, there's a massive one there, it ranges between about 3 and 20 megabits a second, which is a huge amount of data here to be processed. Down to 4 there. So what you need to do is look at that and then look at the CPU utilization figure. So as that goes up, you'll see the CPU utilization go up. And um, I'm going to have to start that again. Let's just run that through again. Bring the display up. And you'll see that the CPU is, is running pretty high. 65, and then up to 90, up to 95. And once we get to a high bit rate like this, as you can see, 95, 95, 98, 96. Very, very high utilization on this on the CPU. Um, couple of frames dropped there. But over this 25, 24 frames per second video, um, that's actually very, very good. Buffering uh, seems to be working out okay, so it's working okay over the local area network. I'm going over a giggy off a NAS here. So um, take a look at those figures if you're an Anim fan and think about that because this is a hundred and sixty dollar HTPC which it takes literally half an hour to to set up with open and like on a USB stick so there's no disk inside here well actually there is because I'm using it for other things but this open and like system is run purely off the four gig cheap USB stick I've got there two gigs of RAM in there and as I said it's an Intel Atom Baytrail MZ sorry N2820 CPU in there so quite a low end bit of kit. I've got a keyboard but you can add remote out of the box as well. It's got an IR uh, transceiver there. Right so if you've got any questions about that and if you've got any other files you want me to test send me a link somehow hopefully you can drop that in the uh, in the comments in the Google Plus comments below and I'll pick that up and try and test it out for you. All the uh, NUC testing including Android 4.4 um, Windows 8.1, uh, XBMC on Windows 8, and of course XBMC Ubuntu and Open a Lake is on umcportal.com. So have a look on there and you'll find all the details about the NUC. Thanks for watching. Looking forward to the next video, which is probably going to be the Lenovo Flex 10, a low cost touch netbooky style device. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.